Hello my friends and welcome back. My name is George. I'm uh, George Lungu from ExcelUnusual.com and some people wanted to see my face. I don't like to show my face in general. I just make uh, no-show videos. And But this time uh, it's different. I want to introduce myself and thank you very much for the tremendous support and tremendous interest you showed for my models and uh, because I see all this um, gigantic interest I'm gonna come back and uh, start doing more Excel because I've been in a in a break I've been doing other things I haven't touched Excel seriously in probably three years now I'm a very um, I'm a very how do you say a very occasional user okay and uh, this is good I mean, it should encourage you because it means you don't need to be an expert, you don't need to memorize, you don't need to remember anything. When I start Excel, so I didn't use it, say, for a few weeks or a few months, I usually use Google, I use my old models, and in time, you always forget the syntax. I know some people will uh, contradict me, but uh, I always forget the syntax. I have all projects, I open them and copy-paste. Again, the more I work in Excel or in any other program, the more I develop a sense, a smell, uh, you know, best practices. But the syntax in particular, don't load your mind, use your mind for creativity. So, um, right now I'm upgrading the roller coaster. I made some very good improvements. It's still kind of slow in the new Excel. 2007 and newer but uh, this will be fixed I know how to do it I just need to avoid charts and build everything uh, using lines so uh, line segments I think polygon pol polyline polygonal lines you can use uh, a command in VBA a statement to generate lines using the coordinates of the vertices so this being said, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, another thing. Uh, after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, do procedural procedural terrain generation, which means uh, using very little computer resources. There are methods to produce infinite landscape and different landscape, like very with a lot of variation you can navigate on this infinite landscape and um, even though in your computer you have very little stored in the memory and the landscape is always the same which means if you navigate say for a day for a year and you want to come back you don't you don't need to memorize a lot of information with very little in the memory of the computer you can come back to a certain coordinate in your infinite landscape which is very nice so this is called procedural landscape or terrain generation so right now let's dive into the modifications i did to the roller coaster so you know how to use it and this being said here is the model uh, we can start it from here and this is uh, this is still the old excel i i i like to always show this for a while because it's very fast and very fluent and it's even more fluent than what, than what you see now on the screen because the screen is only I don't know it's 30 frames a second and I'm not sure how they interfere with the frames a second of this uh, Excel thing okay so you have a few things here first you see there's something called um, record area so you reco record record you record the performance of the coaster you have the for each run you spit out uh, program spits out six different uh, parameters performance uh, indicators one is the excel version 11 is 2003 16 is um, the new one the newest one coaster scale and again coaster scale you get it from here you see you can have a hundred percent see the whole coaster or go less and less and less and less 
and down to 0 0.0. It's very little here. Let me see. Format cells. Uh, let's put the percentage decimal units one. So So when you have a short coaster in front of you, you delete it, most of it, you just um, display what is in front of you. Let's run it. And you see how it's moving, like a snake in front of you. And you can make it even shorter, you can go down to, I believe 1%, this is 1% of the whole. Or you can go like 10%. So this is coaster scale. Okay. Let me stop this. So it's coaster scale. Ground scale. The ground plane. You see this uh, ground mesh. You can do the same thing. Let's put 100% of the coaster back. Ground scale. Now it's 100%. You can make it 70, 50, 30%, 20%, 10%, and 0. So... I started with the premise that the program is so slow because uh, there's too many segments to display. Uh, the reality is it doesn't matter so much. It does matter when the segments become many, like 5,000 something. But right now, even if I cut the ground, ground to zero and the coaster to like 2%, it's still slow in the new Excel. So I'm going to remedy that. So ground scale, speed scale again. Check this out. It's running. I can reduce the speed to 10%. Let me see. 20%. You see how slow it is? 10%. Or I can increase it to 300%. Okay? So there's several um, preset values here. I believe like 15 or 20 preset values from 10% to 300%. So it will display it here for each run. And then it will display the lap time, how many seconds it took to do the, the whole lap, to cover the whole lap, and the number of frames a second. For a pleasant uh, visual experience, you need about 30 frames a second, okay? The new Excel, in the new Excel, this model and most of my models run much slower about 10 frames a second, sometimes 11. Some people have better computers. I have a really crappy computer. So uh, I usually do, I usually clock between 10 to 11 frames a second, which is okay, it's not great. But I'm gonna work on this and uh, fix it and make it 30 frames a second in a new Excel. I need to rebuild the whole thing from ground up and not use charts. So, Another thing you can do here is uh, change the weight of the lines, make it the lines, you see the ground plane here, ground, weight, I can make it 0, 1, 2, all the way to 3 and make them thick or thin. I like to keep it at 2, same for the co coaster, roller coaster, it from 0, 1, you don't see any difference, 2, thicker line, 3, even fatter line. I like to keep it on two. Another thing you can do the background color, the chart. This is just a 2D ch scatter chart. So you can change the background color to all these, uh, I believe 54, you see the Microsoft uh, color palette. Um, so you can change it to anything you want. You can change the, uh, the ground color. Again, there are 64 options here, uh, eight by seven. You can change the coaster color these are solid colors i mean uniform colors for the roller coaster or this is i'm very proud of this introduce color schemes okay change all these five elements which means uh, wait actually not there's seven colors the coaster has five colors interlacing why because if you go to calculation and click on this um, on the coaster you see, it's highlighting the six different colors. Uh, 
it's like a snake with uh, various segments of different colors on it and you can choose here you can bring in this table type in numbers and choose different color schemes I did this for you and uh, I uh, carefully loaded this table the table is I believe 20 columns long and it adjusts all the colors the background the ground plane and the five uh, the six colors in the coaster so check this out look at this uh, part here color schemes you have uh, 20 color schemes and you can click on this button and change them to various options and then when you get to the end 20 it rolls back it comes back look at this uh, highlighted in white column here or you can go back and uh, again when you run you can change all these things while it's running you can run it and change the color scheme while it's running you can change the scale you see you can change uh, the speed while it's running again again you see now it's 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent and 300 percent this is too fast I mean it still looks good and uh, I want to show you another thing so let's not save this I can open this in uh, the new Excel and again I have an old machine a very old is 11 years old and it was a very cheap machine when I bought it it was the cheapest actually that's why I bought it, it was the it was some deal and I got this it was already obsolete when I bought it okay so I open it in the new Excel this is three three six uh, three sixty five and I can run it at uh, 100 percent scale is not uh, it's kind of jittery because the number of frames a second is only you will see here it's going to push this data down and bring the new updated measurements right here okay so it all it's only 8.9 frames a second if i shut down this uh screen recording it's going to be 11 so it's going to be better because the screen recorder uh, takes a lot of uh, computer power let's run it again see maybe I, we are more lucky this time yeah so we got 10 frames a second another thing that I did I went inside the guts of the program I mean of my model and uh, multiply the, the speed by 3 a factor of 3 because the new Excel is 3 times slower so whenever so the speed of the model the lap time is about the same regardless of the version of Excel of Excel you use so this being said oh another thing I want to show you something here um, this is my uh, generator the landscape generator right now is a very preliminary version it doesn't look that good and it's just done on a standard chart the 2d or 3D chart. If I hit the F9, I can generate random terrain. You see some mountains, some water, high mountains, islands. Uh, it doesn't look great, but uh, this will be great after I uh, refine it and refine it over and over again. It's going to look really good, it's going to be fast, and we're going to build it with wireframe and then we can also fill it which means uh, uh, we can uh, do something called shading which means each polygon there's going to be little triangles is going to fill with a surface and for water is going to be blue for uh, mountains going to be let's say uh, dark blue for grass is going to be green for top of the mountain is going to be white you know the snow something like this it's going to look good 
and then we can fly an airplane through the landscape and as we fly again very close to the landscape not like this this is just to prove the concept but flying through it the landscape will extend in the direction of the plane the plane flies so if the plane goes forward in the back you will delete the automatically the scene will delete slices and will add slices in the front if the plane takes a right which means you can pilot this plane using the a joystick a virtual joystick your your mouse so if the, if the plane takes a right uh, you will start uh, as the plane advances you will start deleting slices from the left and adding slices to the right and again this is a procedural procedural generation with very little resources you can uh, memorize large practically infinite number of uh, scenes okay so this being said thank you for all your support and the great comments and the likes and uh, i will see you in the next video thank you